My name is Bickle. Bernard Bickle. I, I am rather well known as a space traveller, and also an authority of some standing in the field of symbological euphonics, the study of alien musics on the many far worlds scattered about this galaxy of ours. I have been commissioned by Dame Isabel Grace, the eminent secretary treasurer of the Opera League to recount the history of our recent little adventure in space when we endeavoured to bring the finest music of Earth to the attention of the inhabitants of a number of these far worlds. Dame Isabel is anxious to dispel the rumours that have surfaced as tittle-tattle and gossip in journalistic circles. I shall not omit recounting the several awkward instances that befell us. There were various levels of understanding. Yes. Our story begins at the opera. Dame Isabel is in her private box, discussing the program that will shortly be presented. A ballet by the Ninth Troop, a dance group brought to Earth by the enterprising space captain Adolf Gondar from the distant planet Rolaru. Dame Isabel is as usual accompanied by her favourite nephew, Roger Wool, and an admiring group of music critics, but the critics are dubious regarding Gondar. It is our business to be sceptical. Who ever heard of a credulous critic? My objections are based partly on musical theory and partly on an informed layman's knowledge of the galaxy. I find it hard to believe that an alien race could employ a comprehensible musical idiom. And also, I have never heard of the planet Raru, which presumably exhibits a highly advanced civilization. You are a fool! Unfair! Unfair! We are all poor mortals pushing through our various dark thickets. Bernard Bickle, who probably knows... Don't mention that name to me. He is an opinionated poser, completely superficial. He is probably the world's leading authority on comparative musicology. We can't help but be influenced by his views. The curtain rises on the stage. The Rolaru Ninth Ballet Troupe perform a fetch on Petra in garments of pink, green, and yellow purple, engaging hybrids of fairies and harlequins, apparently aimless motion, curtsies, caperings, and canterings. Thank you. 
flash of dazzling blue-green light reveals the players in frozen attitudes of attention and inquiry. I note a certain absence of discipline, praiseworthy exuberance, an attempt to break away from traditional forms, but as you say, in Kuwait. Good evening, Madam Grace. Thank you for your invitation. Good evening to you too, sir. A pair of buffoons. Come, Roger. Uh, I believe I will leave you here. I have an engagement. You have nothing of the sort. You are driving me to Lillian Monteagle's supper party. Mm -hmm.